morning guys welcome to today and happy mother's day to all of you women out there all you moms all you wish you were moms all you waiting to be moms all you moms to fur animals all you moms to horses all you trainers and coaches and teachers that are moms to everyone else's child anyway happy mother's day today is my favorite day of the year literally my favorite favorite day of the year because my birthday is in cold season and i love mother's day so sam made me breakfast in bed also got some presents i'll show you guys in a little bit we're headed out for coffee but also we found a home for some of our baby roosters so they are going to their home only problem is i didn't have a box for them and i have to transport them in this and i didn't tell the guy that he needs to bring a box so hopefully he brought a box because Sam made me this container a long time ago and I love this thing. But they're going, do they all look like roosters to you? The only one I was a little bit worried about was this one, but I think that she is a rooster. I mean, her comb is just starting or its comb is just starting. And these guys all have red combs already. So, uh, I don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit iffy about that one. Say goodbye. Aren't they adorable though? So today, for Mother's Day, I have a couple of fun projects that I want my family to help me with. Things that I've been waiting to get done. And we'll share that with you as the day goes on. And I want to ride Penny around the property, at least possibly on the road, because I want to get back to that. So let's get this day started, you guys. Let's get Mother's Day 2022 started. Hi, huh, Penny Pickle. It's Mother's Day. You know what that means? She's like, what, extra hay? <laughs> Sam and the girls got me a muck bucket, a new muck bucket. I needed a new one. Bought it at a different store. So it's wider and shorter than my other one. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Yep, works perfect. I love it. It's good. We have two muck buckets, like two of those ones, one for clean and one for dirty. Clearly I use my dirty one a lot. So there's my new one. They also bought me these, which I've been needing. That leads me to uh, the big project for this year's Mother's Day. Mother's Day 2022. I'm gonna show you guys, the girls are getting ready. They're getting ready to come out and help. So when we moved to this house, all this property here between the barn and the house was all bushes and trees and stuff and so, um, you guys saw that a couple of years ago before COVID, um, we moved all the rocks. We tried to get all the rocks out of this area. I'll show you guys so you can see how big the space is. Try to get all the rocks out of here so that Sam could cut this area with his lawnmower and we could have it like as a nice grassy area. It's so much work though. So we did all this and then we did all that over there, but there's this strip in the middle that had like the most rocks ever that was always really hard. And the reason is that I have allergies. Now that I'm older, I've developed these allergies. And when I get out here and I try and cut all this stuff down, my nose gets stuffy and my ears get plugged up for the whole summer. But today, I'm gonna get the girls to help me collect more rocks and get rid of them so that we can use this whole entire space and make our property look a little better. I love this whole side over here, what we've done with it. It's my favorite. This side over here has always been the hardest and the most work, and so I want to finish it this year. So it's things like this. this. These are all the rocks we moved. We threw them into a pile in the middle, which is ultimately such a dumb idea. And some of them are big, and we won't be able to move them, but we're going to do our best. And I've asked the girls to come and help me for their Mother's Day gift to me to help me collect rocks. I'm going to try and cut down all the bushes and stuff, and I'm going to let them collect the rocks. So here is the section before, and then I'll show you guys what happens in the after. The dogs love this area. They're like, I can find snakes in here. There better not be any snakes in here. It is all prickle bushes, and that is a big reason why it's been such a struggle for us. Because I, I just sat on that rock, and now I got a butt full of prickles. There are probably snakes in here. I found a fledgling. I scared a fledgling, so a little bird. Where is it? I don't know, he ran off. I said, run and hide, little bird. I wanted to hold 
So listen, all these rocks, you see all the rocks? They have to go in that pile. So you can take the wheelbar wheelbarrow around with you. Around where? Wherever you need to go to find rocks. I want to break all these rocks open. All right, well first, we're, cool. first we're going to collect them. Come. So I was looking, and what are those? What are those kind of eggs? <gasps> can we hatch oh, them? Oh, no, 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 that's what the mom, it was a little bird. That's why, them? remember I said I thought I saw a fledgling, it was a mama bird. No, we won't come near this. These are her own little her. eggs. Why Just a little she... tiny bird. Is it, what is it that lays eggs in the ground like this? Is it? A bird that can't fly. No, is it swallows? I can't remember the name, but we've seen them before. Yeah, Cover it up. All right, Princess Gabby has arrived. Well, my it's, dog has been here. It is hot out, Gabby. I think, I think you maybe have a little bit extra. It is bug. It's not that hot out. All right, so all these rocks have to go in that pile. No, or you can take my choppers and start chopping all the bushes. I chop. Rock, Sophia. No, it's no, got, we can't. There's we a can't. bird. Yeah, there's a bird. Don't take that Don't one. Don't touch it. I see it. <laughs> Look at you. She's like, oh, I've just done so much work. <laughs> Do you guys see it? Heart-shaped rock. Whoa. Almost a heart-shaped rock, but it looked like a heart to me. I just saw a tick. I think I just saw a tick. Wait, you saw a tick? Yeah, no, I'm done. We're done. <laughs> no, you're yeah. dressed appropriately, Sophie. So is Gabby. We're okay. My knees are out. And my ankles. You guys, I've been looking forward to this all week. I tried to eat a piece of grass. But now we're all freaked out. No, I tried to so, eat a piece of grass. So, <laughs> Sam, where's your tractor? Now we're all paranoid. There's a tick. Ticks? Oh, burrs. Ticks actually hurt when they bite. Oh. <laughs> I think <laughs> so my, it hurts right here though. Don't no. know, I think I told myself with a prickle. <laughs> but it hurts right there for no reason. But, All right, Gabby's still at it. Here, let me check your head. Okay, check my head. Yeah, your hair's in the way. I know, I got burrs in my hair. I already took burrs Happy out. Mother's Day trip to the hospital. Gabby's like, oh no, I see another bad thumbnail coming. I don't think, I think you're okay. Look how curly Sophie's hair is though. Yeah, it's too curly. So we're done now. <laughs> no, I think we're Let's still okay. Let's go build a chicken coop. Let's go build a chicken coop. Plan B. Plan uh, B. Uh, that we found ticks. Ticks. Yeah. I went to pick up a rock and there was like five ticks on it. I'm sure there were ticks. Yep. So it is, it is 65 degrees today in it's Ontario. So hot. 65 and we're all sweating buckets. Hey, and I have a cross country jump. Oh, that's so super cool. So, when it gets warm out, Sophie likes to bring her schleich outside. Molly likes to see the schleich. She's like, that is not a horse. She's looking for a light. She's like, yeah, looking for a light. I broke it. Did you actually break it? Yeah. Oh, man. It's fine. Just a little hot glue. All right. Hot glue that sucker. And I can still... I, I don't want to get caught right now. So... I she, can still use it. Like. So, she's got a chestnut horse here. Actually, this is my new one. Yeah, she got a new one the other day while they were out shopping. Super cute. And, it's a bear. and then she has this amazing cart that somebody sent us long ago. No. No. Oh. No one sent us that. Someone sent us a different one. Oh yeah. Someone sent us a different one, but that for one only miniatures. works for ponies and yeah. miniatures. Yeah. And this one works for horses, so I use it. Super cute. I'd love our horses to pull a little wagon like I that. I do use the other ones too. Well, the other one too. So what else do you have in there, Sophie? Just um, I have a bunch of people and tack and a couple bowls and stuff. Oh, there goes Molly. She heard Gabby coming. That poor little pony. Oh, the saddle's as big as the pony. Mm -hmm. Um, This is the rider that's riding it. This is Abigail and this is Honey. So Sam bought this rake for the tractor. Will this drag our arena? Uh, I was hoping it would. He's hoping it will. And it also hands, drag those branches that I just cut. I cut a bunch of branches down. So he has to go and get some screws for it, right? Bolt. So Sam also bought me this gorgeous new lawnmower. It might not seem like a good Mother's Day present to many of you guys. But cutting grass is really fun for me. And I'm really like fussy about cutting grass. And I, Sam cuts most of the grass here, but I cut the grass down around the barn and I cut the grass down around the house so that it can be like green all summer in Canada. 
it gets super hot and the grass will turn brown if you cut it too short and he always cuts it too short so I'm super picky. I always like to have my own lawnmower and it was time for me to get a new one and I super love it. It's green which is honestly such a fun color for me. This is the pony saddle. All right that saddle looks a lot better. All right so my son is here for a Mother's Day wagon ride and he's gonna ride. He's gonna drive. First time driving the tractor. Also got ice cream. Sam brought me ice cream for Mother's Day. Um, they went out to go and see if they can find some beet pulp because we're almost running out at the barn already and you guys know chances on beet pulp. And Sophie messaged me and she said, hey, do you wanna go out for supper or do you want steak? What'd I say, Sophie? Steak. I said steak and Sophie said, I said steak. And Sophie said, no, no, no. <laughs> but it's my Mother's Day. I get to choose. It is hours later, you guys, and it might not look that different, but it is, I promise you. Actually, I'm gonna take you over here. So you can kind of see how we got a lot of the branches gone, kind of. <laughs> and you can see over here how we're actually making like a path through here. And it's a lot of work, and I just don't think it's gonna get done in one day. But we're doing a nighttime portion of it, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So over by where we have our fire pit, we have this little tiny pile that we can't cut the grass because it's full of rocks. And then we have this little area over here that we can't cut because of rocks. So we're gonna take the rocks out of there. I'm gonna get that all cut. And then we're gonna keep doing this, you guys. We're gonna keep going until we get all this stuff gone. Today? Not today. Gabby's coming out to help too. So, so if you see that big rock, like I want you to go in here. I cannot grab that big rock. I'll grab the big one. But look, there's one right there you can grab. This is seriously what we're up against. <laughs> big ginormous rocks like this. I pulled it out of there. No. Sophie's rolling it over to there. There's a little culvert right there and she's throwing it in there. Oh, fly. Gabby went to get a coat. You gotta roll it all the way to this <laughs> little culvert. Oh, it's, it's so heavy I just pulled it out. Roll, sister. You're oh, going the wrong direction. Out. Oh, oh, I don't think you can carry it. You want to carry it with Sophie? No. Yeah, that's dangerous. I did my own wrong. Watch your hands. Help. My hands are on the top. I do not need a Mother's Day Help. disaster. If anything, I'm going to fall with it on the <laughs> Don't do that. Don't drop it on your foot either. No, if it's going, it's going that way. Can right. I, when you're lawnmowering this, can I shoot the lawnmower? Yeah. Be the girl, but I kind of need a word Well, I'm into you. All right, so I think we did it, you guys. We got mostly, let me show you, mostly this whole entire section where we have a fire cleaned up. There's a big pile here, big pile over there. We got it all done. All the rocks picked up. It was craziness. And we're going to keep working on this. I think it's just going to take a little bit each day. And that's what I did the last time we tried to get rid of all this stuff. Wow. <laughs> what? Gabby's like, wow, good job team, let's go up. This was not her favorite job. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. Watch, I'll show you how to break it. Mom. Here. You break it. Watch. And if you break it, then you get all my money. <laughs> that was there. A lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. Sam is over there. Uh, bush hogging our fields, getting it ready for the girls. He's just cutting down a little bit of weeds. A fly bit. It'll be a couple, it'll be a while still before the girls can go out there. We wait until the grass reaches a certain height before we put them on it. So today I had all sorts of plans. Now I have all sorts of thorns. <laughs> but it's okay, you guys. What I like to do on days that I can be busy and do the things that I want to do is I like to make a list of all the things that I want to get done and then I work towards them diligently throughout the day and what gets done gets done. And I wanted to ride Penny today uh, but then we had family show up unexpectedly and it was awesome. I got to spend the afternoon with my son and the girls and we just had so much fun and is and that was worth it. We didn't get every single project that we that I wanted done but we made a huge dent, did a lot of work and I got to spend time with the girls. 
girls outside doing the things that I loved and I appreciate the fact that they did them with me and were mostly good sports. I hope you all had an amazing Mother's Day, an amazing Sunday, and that is it for today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm so excited about tomorrow. I was talking to Brandon already. It's supposed to be a really nice warm week. So close to show season for us. And even Brandon thinks that Chance is gaining weight. I cannot wait to go back to the barn and see how much he's gained and get Chino back to riding again. Keep him going moving forward for show season. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way